Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akosia Behini. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a tennis subscriber, you're always welcome back, my love. Always welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be getting ready and talking about how I have been dealing or talking about how I dealt with self-confidence you guys see from the title right um it's just going to be talking about how for a big part of my life i was dealing with self-confidence um self-esteem all of all of that kind of stuff so please keep on watching if you're interested in listening and knowing you know what you know what you know what let me just do my makeup because <laughs> i think i don't have an intro i think that i don't have an intro I just want to talk about self-confidence. So let me do my makeup and maybe towards the end, I should be able to come up with an intro. Maybe, maybe I should be able to do that. But you guys are welcome. This is not an intro. You're just welcome. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be doing my makeup. I will try as much as possible to list everything in the description box below or to show you guys what I'm using as I go. I'm taking off my jacket because... It's not cute. It's just like too mummyish for them. But anyway, what's up, guys? What are you doing? So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting off with primer, I will try as much as possible to talk through as we go. Um, I mean, talk through the makeup, tell you guys what I'm doing as we go because I just might be too into talking about self confidence that I might not be able to tell you guys what kind of makeup I'm using, but. Either ways, I will link them in the description box below, so check it out. So, for a huge part of my life, I was... I know you see me now, and I know a lot of people see me on social media, and they do see that... I mean, yeah, obviously. It looks like I radiate a lot of self-confidence. Self-confidence. I look like someone who has always been that kind of confident girl, who has always like been i've been very outspoken that notwithstanding i've always been that kind of girl to say her mind i will always say what's on my mind i don't care to who not disrespectfully though but i don't care to who you know that's just something that i always did but talking about the kind of self-confidence that i was dealing with this is about me about my body about myself not believing in myself so much growing up i looked like someone who will say her mind, you know, yada yada, but I really low-key, I was afraid, low-key, I didn't have confidence in myself, low-key, um, there was just, there was just this self-doubt, started from my body, you know, started from my body and how I didn't like my body, because I didn't have the body that I wanted to have at the time, um, started from also like wanting to look like other girls wanting to sound like other girls wanting to be like other girls it all started from that and i i can't tell like i i at exactly which age but i'd say i'd say that from high school junior high school through to senior high school i didn't have any confidence whatsoever in myself i couldn't even look at myself in the mirror and say that you know what you're pretty i do it now like it's crazy i don't know how even at that time people were telling me that i was pretty people were telling me that oh you speak english so well blah 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 you know like growing up in an african country english is a thing <laughs> So people, people will be telling me that, oh, you speak so well. Oh, you look like you have so much charisma. Or you, no, they don't even say you look like you have so much charisma. They say that, oh, you have so much charisma and blah, blah, blah. But deep down, <laughs> I knew that you guys, you don't know what's going on. Like, you do not know what is going on. I didn't like my skin. Didn't like my, my, my. Um, my complexion, didn't like my hair. Let me start from body. I'm gonna go in with some LA Girl Pro Concealer. Oh, it's good that I showed you guys because I was definitely going in with the wrong one. <laughs> Very much the wrong one. Oh, I would've messed up my face, girl. I wanted to have like a stinched in, you know, figure eight, you know, that kind of thing. Growing up, I wanted to have that so bad. So I would never wear a dress. I would never wear a bodycon dress. No matter what you say. Gwen, <laughs> I'm saying Gwen. Gwen will never put on 
a body fitting dress because I didn't have that confidence. I was like, why would I want to show off my bulging belly? It's it's such it was such a huge problem for me, at least not now. It was such a huge problem for me because to me there was nothing flattering about my bulging belly that had to be shown to the world or that had to like come out in a dress, you know, like it, it's not flattering. To me it wasn't flattering. So I'm like, you know what? Mm. I'm just gonna stick to my palazzo pants. <laughs> so I'm such a huge fan of palazzo pants, um, high-waisted pants, anything that will hide that belly. I was such a huge fan of it. Um, and then moved on to my hair. Oh, my goodness. If I tell you how many years it took for me to become comfortable in my own friggin' hair, it took forever. Or it has taken forever. I literally got around to loving my hair, what, last year? Or this year, like beginning of this year. That's how much I didn't have confidence in my hair. I just didn't want nothing to do with my hair. Um, my edges were so thin. And I'm like, why? Why? <laughs> why do you have to be so thin like why can't you be just fine i tried everything tried every treatment did everything and my hair still wasn't giving me that nice vibe that i wanted it to give me you know oh. like i was saying it was like such a huge problem for me because to me mm, everything that is supposed to make a girl look beautiful it's not making me look cute <laughs> or everything that is supposed to make every other girl look pretty i don't look cute in it like i'm not looking cute in it like i'm not looking cute in the dress my hair is not looking cute i couldn't do natural hairstyles i was so mad and then moving on to high school you know usually high school is even supposed to help you boost your confidence blah 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 high school can make you or break you there was no part of high school that i liked i liked myself like I just, I just didn't, I just didn't, I, I just wasn't feeling myself, wasn't feeling my body, wasn't feeling um, the woman that I was growing to become. To me, I thought that I had to have like some kind of body. To me, I thought that I had to look a certain way. I had to have, my hair had to grow well. You know, like I just had so many things going on in my head and it wasn't doing me good. One thing about self-confidence is it's you, you downplaying yourself, you downplaying your efforts, you downplaying what you deserve. And because however you treat yourself is how people are going to treat you. However you view yourself is how people are going to view you. One thing that you should know is that it's not that deep. If you don't have self, if you don't have confidence in yourself, Nobody will do that for you. Nobody will be the first person to say, maybe your mom or your dad. I don't know. But nobody will be the first person to say that, you know what? I'm going to be the first person to have confidence in you till you start having confidence in yourself. No, it doesn't work like that. So you need to come to terms with the fact that you're all that. Like, you need to be able to tell yourself, the girl, I am all that. Um, the one thing that helped me, the one thing that helped me is just how people saw me you know people people saw me as a confident person people saw me as um someone with such a huge charisma um someone someone who's really good you know like eloquence blah 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 so all those things really did push me a little more because it started feeling like even people see this in you and you don't see this in yourself <laughs> Who do you, like, what, what, what again do you want, you know? People see so much potential in you and you just keep downplaying your effort. You, do, you just keep saying that, no, 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 even you don't have confidence in yourself. Now, one thing about self-confidence that you should know is that it affects your every damn thing, <laughs> okay? Your self-confidence can affect the kind of relationship that you go into, can affect the kind of friendships that you get into, um, 
it can affect it, it just kind of because you have it's how you view yourself basically so how you view yourself is going to determine how you attract things into your life so if you keep belittling yourself you know keep seeing yourself as as though uh, nothing you know you don't have confidence to do things so now you start to attract things like that into your life now you start to attract things that look like the image that you've created you start to attract things like that relationships like that friendships like that you know you, you think that you don't deserve good things because already you think that you are not good enough you know you think that you're not good enough so uh whatever relationship comes your way is okay whatever friendship comes your way whatever toxicity comes your way is okay that's what i'm trying to say uh, um before i even get into how to or how i dealt with mine my little self-confidence sickness one thing is that african women african women in particular are not thought how to be confident especially for the fact that we live in such a patriarchy system or patriarchal however they say it system you know it's very hard for a woman to have so much confidence in herself to be outspoken you know to to just express herself in ways that it's seen that a woman is supposed to be quiet a woman is supposed to be calm a woman is not supposed to be loud I'm totally the opposite of that, okay? <laughs> totally the opposite. And that's just a narrative that we have to change because really, we're all humans. We both come with two set of lips. I come with a huge mind. You, the man, as well. So what shows that I can't be able to express myself the same way you're doing? Like, African women especially have been told to not talk when the man is talking. The man is the one, right? <laughs> the man is the one, right? I'm not even going to go there. That's a whole different topic on its own. Um, but African women in general are not thought to be, to be confident. They're not thought to share their mind. Say how you feel, however it is. Say it and let us know exactly what you're going through. Let, let us know exactly how you feel, you know? So a lot, of, a lot of African women will just rather shut up, you know? Because they feel like, oh, bad, you want to mean kasa. Oh, bang, kasa, sa. <laughs> oh, bang, kasa, sa. That's what they do. That's what they say. Yes, there are standards. Yes, there are standards. But there are standards that you create for yourself. There are standards that you have to be comfortable with before you live them. You can't just live by everybody's standards or you can't just live by societal standards because that's what is right. Does it feel right to you? Is that the kind of person that you really are? Do you really want to say what's on your mind? Then say it. <laughs> just go ahead and say it. So a lot of times African women have like a hard time when it comes to self-confidence and like self-esteem. African women even feel like men have to choose them and not they choosing the men. You know, it's just as our generation that a lot of things have changed or a lot of things are beginning to change. Um, but I am happy. I'm happy that with modernization and the world growing and everything, our generation don't think like that. Our generation can't be shut up. <laughs> our generation will just say it as it is, you know, so... That's a good thing. That's a that's definitely a good thing. I just wanted to pass that away. You know, talk about the fact that African women are always thought to shut up. Women are not given so much confidence. Women can't hold certain positions because it's assumed that a woman, this position is too much for a woman. A woman can't do this. I know thousand and one men that cannot do the things that I do. Okay? Thousand and one. <laughs> and I'll just say that. You know, there are men who totally act like women. There are men who um, will not be able to make a decision to save the family. You know, there's so many things, so many things. And I don't want to even veer away from the topic, which is the self-confidence. But yeah, African women deal with a whole different vibe of self-confidence because, because it's just how we're trained to be. So it took me forever 
I'm grateful that I didn't have parents that were like, shut up, shut up, that kind of parents, you know? That kind of parent that were like, shut up, don't say anything when people are talking. Don't say anything when men are talking. No, I didn't have that kind of parent. So I'm very happy that I didn't have that kind of parent. Um, oh, the skin is looking really great. Who is this girl? Who is this girl? <laughs> Wait, how did that come to play? So, um, how I started coming around to dealing with confidence self-confidence one thing that helped me like i said in the beginning one thing that helped me was that people already viewed me as as though um people already viewed me as someone who had confidence you know people already were saying things like that about me and i mean i think i knew that potential about me i didn't have the confidence to like just be me be me you know to love me as me but I was confident to speak because I was I've always been good at speaking. I've been an MC for a long time in high school. You know, so speaking was never really a problem for me. But deep down I didn't have confidence in myself. Like deep down, if things don't work for me, I'm like, yeah, yeah. How do you, what were you thinking you thought it was going to work for you? You know, all those kind of negative comments that you say to yourself they all really go a long way to messing around with your self-confidence. So it all starts from your mind, how to get away from it, how to heal yourself from self-confidence syndrome. <laughs> Let me just say that. The syndrome of not having self-confidence. How to deal with it, you just have to start from here. Start making up your mind. Start telling yourself that, you know what, I am tired I am tired of this not liking myself idea. Look at yourself. Tell yourself that, you know what? I think it's time. I think it's time for me to love the skin that I'm in. I think it's time for me to love the hair that I'm in. I think it's time for me to love the body that I'm in. Um, that's how my started. That's how my started. I made up my mind that, you know what? I think I want to do this. I think I'm ready to do this. I think I'm ready to love every bit of me. That's what I said. That's exactly what I said to myself. I think I'm ready to love my hair as broken as it looks, as um, thin as it comes. I'm ready to love it. My tummy, my bulging belly, I was, I'm ready to love it. Ready to just appreciate everything that my body comes with because... One thing that we forget is our body is constantly working and fighting to protect us as human beings. And that's not even self-confidence. I'm not. That's like a whole science thing on its own. But naturally, your body is always protecting you, making sure that you're good, fighting certain sicknesses that you don't even see. So the only thing that you can do is love your body. The only thing that you can do is feed it with positivity, good stuff, you know? So I started making up my mind that... I think that I'm ready to do this for my body. I think that I'm ready to love me, love my skin, love my hair, and just work on me while I go. I loved every time I put on an outfit, just stand in front of the mirror and then say, oh girl, you look pretty. I do a lot of mirror affirmations. Started um, mirror affirmations, just stand in front of the mirror, tell yourself good things, tell yourself. Be the one to tell yourself those things. Don't expect to hear them from someone, you know? Don't expect someone else to tell you or give you the accolades that you don't give yourself. And that's a period. <laughs> that's really the truth. You have to start by loving yourself, telling yourself things that you expect to hear from other people about you. You have to start telling yourself beautiful things, positive things, um, loving yourself and standing in your own truth. Third point, I know the points are all over the place. First starts with your mind. Second starts with mirror affirmations and telling yourself things. Third, third point will be stand in your own damn truth. Whatever you say, whatever works for you, make sure that you're living it. Make sure that Make sure that you're standing for what you're saying. Make sure that if you say that you don't want to drink juice, you're not going to drink juice because you don't want to drink juice. Don't let anybody force you to drink juice, okay? And as part, as a huge part of standing by your truth, whatever you say that you stand for, please do it. If 
you want to wear a wig wear a wig if you're a huge part of natural hair or if you're a huge fan of natural hair and you want to be natural be natural when you're standing in your truth don't be going for people who are also standing in their truths okay okay when you're working on your self-confidence don't go for someone who is working on their self-confidence too or who likes something that you don't like just because they don't align with your self-confidence thingy okay now i'm gonna go ahead and just do my brows and my eye off camera then i'll come back so we can finish off this conversation but while i do that comment in the comment section below have you dealt with self-confidence are you self-confident now um would you say that it's something that you're still working on is this something that i mean whatever you want to say anything about self-confidence share it with me in the comment section below i'd love to hear your stories i'd love to hear how you guys i mean how you got out of it like whatever it is share it with me okay now i'm gonna go in with my blush from nika k duo mirror affirmations go a very long way to helping you as a person it helps you to view yourself differently so you're basically talking to an image of you in the mirror so whatever you say i mean you say to the mirror you say to to yourself in the mirror so it looks like you're talking to someone else but you're really just saying them to yourself so you need to do mirror affirmations they're really helpful helped me such a long way helped me with my weight loss journey helped me with my self-confidence as well um helped me with loving my hair I used a lot of mirror affirmations for my tummy, I mean for my weight loss, and then loving my hair, the hair that I have, my natural hair, you know. So that definitely did help a lot. Um, and then the third point, the third point that I mentioned earlier was um, owning your truth and staying in your truth or standing in your truth, you know. Whatever you stand for, be sure that you do stand for that thing let us know or let us see that you really do stand for that thing and then the next one that i'll say is believe in yourself you know believe in your damn self okay like believe that you can do it believe that you deserve good things believe that you're confident believe in yourself don't downplay your efforts you know believe in yourself believe in that your abilities to do things you know believe in the fact that you're powerful and you possess so much power as a person and you're confident believe that you're confident believe that you exude so much confidence say positive things to yourself and believe in yourself these things really do help and from believing in yourself you also want to surround yourself with positive people and people who make you feel confident imagine just imagine that you have people that that are not confident so you move with people that are not confident in themselves what kind of energy are you radiating or i mean what kind of energy are you pulling into your your circle you know what kind of energy are you pulling into your life what kind of energy are you trying to feed on you need to surround yourself with confident people and i will say that everyone in my circle which is very small very tight <laughs> everyone in my circle is very confident you know from my man to my friends to my family everyone around me is very confident if you're not giving me that vibe i try as much as possible to stay away from you if you're that type of person that is always saying mm, really in your face mm, really in fatal. Mm, this doesn't look good on you mm, why don't you do it this other way i'm gonna do it what makes me feel confident okay i'm gonna do what makes me feel comfortable if it doesn't make you feel comfortable stay away from me now there are people like that i mean there are people who just regularly correct you or say that, oh, I don't think that this looks good on you. That can be viewed as a real friend or a true friend or whatever. But that also comes with a lot of toxicity. There's someone who will just constantly, just constantly be telling you how you're not good enough. How you can do this job. Mm, no, I don't think you should do that. Mm, no, I don't think you should wear that dress. Mm, no, that, no, 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 that hair doesn't look good on you. 
that's toxicity. That is not the person trying to get you on the right part. Or that, that, that's not a good friend. That's not a real friend. You know, a real friend will tell you as is, but will also make sure that when you're around them, you feel confident. When you're around them, you feel good about yourself. You feel positive because they themselves have positive vibes. So you have to surround yourself with people who are going to give you the kind of energy that you want in your life, who are going to help you on your self-confidence journey. Um, you can just surround yourself with anyone. Um, if you need to move on from something or someone because they don't like they're not helping you with your self-esteem and your self-confidence definitely please feel free to move on that's another thing with growth lose so many just so you can grow lose so many just so you can grow and as part of surrounding yourself with positive people and people who help you to feel confident you also want to follow people since we're in a social media age you also want to follow people that help you to feel confident in yourself people that basically will help you to be okay with your self-confidence journey people who are going to be sharing their journeys with you like i am or like i'm doing right now you know <laughs> i'm just saying i but i mean you want to constantly see positivity you want to constantly see people who help you be confident so that's all you want to look out for or the accounts that you want to follow on social media okay I'm going to go ahead and set my face with my Maybelline Lasting Fix. Okay. Oh, I love this look. It's cute. It's giving me really girly vibes, but I like it. Absolutely cute. Oh my god okay guys so this is the finished look another huge part of building your self-confidence is gassing yourself the fuck up okay yeah you need to gas yourself up it's basically like mirror affirmations um like every time every time that i do something like i do my nails you know do my hair even if it's my natural hair i look in the mirror and then i'm like oh girl you're the bomb what like this makeup look right now she looks so pretty like i look so pretty and my hair it's like can i go out already like let's just go out okay and the sun is out today it's beautiful oh my god anyway so this is the finished look i didn't do too much with my lip because my eye is already speaking volumes so i decided that i wasn't going to do too much with my eye my my lip i mean but yeah this is a finished look like i was saying you need to believe in yourself surround yourself with positive people confident people you know all of that all of that and basically um another thing you should know is that it will take time you need to work on it you need to work on your self-confidence with time give yourself time give yourself time to love yourself give yourself time to grow give yourself time to be confident um basically just give yourself time don't be so hard on yourself love yourself in every possible way that you can love yourself in every way that you want someone else to love you does it make sense yeah which kind of love you're expecting from other people from your partner make sure that you have that kind of love for yourself make sure that you're confident enough in yourself before you expect someone to like give you that vibe you know so it all starts from you all, all starts from your mind if you're around people yes people can also help you but if you don't make up your mind it will never work <laughs> if you don't make up your mind that you know what i think that I've got into my bad bitch stage, so I have to be confident in myself. It will never work. It will never work. It will never work. So let's all try. Don't let social media deceive you. There are so many people on social media who are dealing with so many things, including self-confidence. There are so many people on so social media who just post pictures, make it look like they're confident, but they're really not confident. You know, so many people who their social media pages just threatens you. <laughs> Makes you feel like you're not doing anything with your life or makes you feel like now what you're doing now you're doing you know like but don't look at anybody while you're on this journey think about just you think about loving you every possible way that you can um 
you know, find ways that will make you confident and just add it to what I just said, you know, and they're all going to help you. So yeah, if you have like any other questions about self-confidence, self-love, self-care, they all play a part in self-confidence, being that girl, you know, being that woman that you want to be, they all play a part. I'm probably going to do another video talking about self-care and how is a form of self-love, <laughs> okay? So, that's it, that's it, that's it. I just wanted to share with you guys a quick, a quick, quick one on how I've been dealing with self-confidence, how I got out of that whole fuzz, and um, basically how I got myself to love myself, to be confident in myself, and attract the things that I really needed to attract from my life. So I hope that you guys like this video. Give me a huge thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. What are you doing? You're not subscribed? Subscribe, love, subscribe, and share this video with anyone that you want to share it with. And yeah, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.